Let's talk about a quick game. Seattle here. Variations. We got a lot of different stuff that we can do off of Seattle here, but Seattle at its core is going to be, if we call F Seattle, that's telling us we got a three yard, three yard slant, two, three, slant. Outside L's got a three yard slant. In man, we're looking for grass if it's zone. So if this guy's off of us, we're going to be running this hard slant and finding a window to settle up in. There's a hang defender right here. That window might be in front. That window might be after. But it's really important that we identify whether it's man or zone. We know in man, we're running away from our guy. We're beating our guy. If it's in zone, we're finding grass. We're settling into it and showing our hands. Classic sign that I'm ready for the ball in zone is when I settle up, break down, and then show my hands. Okay? We look on the other side. This is what we do on really all of our quick game is we got backside three yard slant to the middle, find, find a window. Then we also have a pre-snap read here to six yards, hitch and zone, or keep climbing on the dig if they're in man. How we can tell they're in man or zone is if that corner is up in their face, if their body language is really intense. That is classic, I'm in man body language. If they're loose and off, that means generally means that they're in zone. They can be facing towards the towards the center too, cheating their body language facing that way, playing off. That's usually classic sign they're in zone. Our H right here is either going to run a swing or a shoot. Either way, let's just say we're running the swing right here. Take three hard steps, your head down, starting to start, starting to look into the quarterback on the third step. Quarterback, you go up to the line, you see if they're in man or zone. If they're playing way off right here, feel free to take the six yard gift right here on the hitch. Take that right away. We don't like that look right here. If they're in man, we are looking one to two, pre-snap one to two, excuse me. If this guy has it right in the middle, hit him. If not, this is a great route to take this hang defender right here with you and hit this L coming across the field uh, hard on a slant. Now, tags that we can do to this play, meaning additions that we can make to this play. We can tag F snag. And what that is, it's an eight yard corner. I think it's off the screen. Let me put it back on the screen, so eight yards and break to the corner. I know that's not eight yards, but I'm taking you off the screen to the screen. That's snag. So anytime we call snag, snag, what that means is two guys are running a slant and a corner combination. If we call tag F arrow, that means we got a arrow route to go along with our snag. Great route to do in man. Weak side still has the, the offside still has the same, same kind of responsibility. So that's kind of our quick game. We call that Seattle with a tag of a corner. We call it a snag route, snag combo, or a tag F arrow. If we move out of trips, we call this left, but trips meaning three receivers to one side, we would just call it left. If we're running Seattle out of left, we have a three-step slant. We have a three-step slant, and we have a arrow route. There's variations that we can do, like in the Super Bowl, the Chiefs kind of ran a variations of this where they have F on the line, L goes in motion, and then comes back out on the arrow, and the Y and the F are kind of running the stops or the slants or stuff like that. This is a great red zone, man-beating type play. So that is Seattle out of left can also be done out of right meaning three receivers to one side trips to one side 